This retirement gift was from my little brother, Captain Jace Tyler, from JT Charters. Hey everybody, welcome back to North Carolina Live Tales. Special military retirement edition down here in my den. That right there came from my battalion retirement gift. It's freaking awesome. You've already seen that, but you know where you're at. Anyways, den's coming along. Guest bedroom's in there. Got some of my uh, military uh, memorabilia stuff over here. It's just downstairs because don't want people coming in the house asking me a bunch of questions. But, um, so today, we ain't talking nothing about deer hunting. Had my retirement ceremony the other day. They honored my kids, my family, the right way. Not a lot of people show up. There's two guys I needed to talk about. I didn't plan on talking about it when I was there. I was going to do it in this video because they were both at the at the ceremony. I don't want this, that kind of attention. But um, I'm going to talk about them real quick. And then there will be some of my retirement ceremony in there. And this will be the last video on this channel that has anything to do or talking about that. Because uh, the page has been turned, a new chapter in my life. So the kids and the wife and getting right with the Lord's a... Uh, Next most important thing, um, Mike Blackstone and Rich Schmidt. So I, uh, I these guys a lot. Real briefly, I spoke about it, but he deserves more than that. Uh, Trigger Blackstone, Master Gunner Sergeant, uh, Mike Trigger Blackstone. I had the guys a platoon sergeant in uh, 0809. We went over on the ship, on the Mew, for our second, my second tour to Iraq, which is selling the now to get into the deployment specifics, we sat on the board of Kuwait just waiting as a theater reserve force. But I had the privilege to work with this guy through the years since then. and um, He's been a phenomenal friend to me, uh, a mentor. He's always got the greatest sense of humor, picks fun at me. Had to correct me lots of times too when I made mistakes, but um, not a better dude with the, the wisdom and the experience to be around in an operational combat unit in another division. So, uh, Trigger, here's your shout out, brother. You deserve it. Uh, I know you didn't want the attention at the ceremony because you were there. Um, it's not lost on me what you've done for me. And um, I'm here. When you start the pipeline next year, prep for retirement, just let me know. And the other one, um, he's my brother in law, really close to me, uh, Master Gunner Sergeant Richard Schmidt. I was going to talk about him in the Battlefield Valor, and I knew he wouldn't like it because he doesn't, he doesn't talk about it. He doesn't even like talking about it or drawing that kind of attention to himself. But the guy's got two medals of valor for Iraq, and um, he's a Purple Heart recipient as well. And he's the only one I know of to get hit in Al Anbar province three times with an IED, three different IEDs in two hours, and still come home with his mean ass look on his face and just gritty as hell. Community is lucky to have both of them. Uh, Master Gunny Blackstone is still in the East Coast here at Second Marine Division, and then Rich Master Gunny Schmidt has went back to the he's went to the West Coast and um, part of Third Tracks. So, anyways, um, you guys have been real brothers to me, and um, a lot of a lot of people that watch this, subscribe to this channel, are members from the community, uh, Marines and the Second A Battalion. So. You deserve it's due to you. Um, the retirement went really well. It felt good going out on a good note. A lot of people I know they put their busy schedules aside. We had horrible weather that was coming in and made it happen. Just shows you what Marines will do for each other. But um, hope you enjoy the video and um, stay tuned. You know we're gonna build the channel now. I'm retired, so um, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. You know and. Non formal venue. I couldn't have done that a lot of people, and that's not lost on me either. But uh, my family, I had a lot of family come from all over the place, and a lot of Marines come from all over the place, and friends. I went back to my first crew chief, old Nathan Miles. So thank y'all for being there. And um, I retired with a full heart. It felt good. No regrets. Stay safe, shoot straight. See you in the next video. To have everybody here on this uh, milestone of my life. I can't repay you or thank you enough. My wife and children, or my family that's traveled. Um, I'm not.
I'm not going to get emotional. I'm not going to cry. But I'm close. <laughs> um, so, Green, thank you, Colonel Kenny Star, Major Watts, for uh, taking care of me the last few months. The battalion for taking care of me. Um, got a couple warriors on deck today. We got the Division CG, Bill Donovan, and uh, Sergeant Major Krause, an old 3 7 warrior. He's over there banging it out and singing with Kilo Company when Santa uh, Davis and I were bouncing around in Helen Province, too. So, uh, I can't truly tell you how humbled I am to have you both here. Uh, General Donovan is a um, Silver Star recipient. It's to say that I'm not just more than just a brother Marine to him, to have another warrior like that here, I know it's not normal. General Donovan, I, I can't thank you for being here enough, sir. It means a lot to me. So everybody wants to know, okay, how did some dumbass to Mass Star Harbor become friends with a two-star general? <laughs> okay, real quick. So I'll, I'll flash back real fast. I'm a platoon sergeant for Alpha First, 2017. We're on the USS Carter Hall. Major General Donovan is a one-star general, Brigadier General for Task Force 515. We're out there operating off the coast of Amman, and our LCAC brethren decided to crash an LCAC right off the coast of Amman on a channel marker. Drove it up onto the ship, Extensive damage. Needed like 500 man hours and hundreds of thousands of dollars. And uh, somebody called uh, General Dove and said, you're losing the capability out here. Well, he's gonna come to the ship and come see it for himself. And you know, when you got a one-star general coming to a Navy vessel, it's a big deal. So the Navy, the Marines, we all dress right dress for a couple days. And General Dove showed up. We're standing in the back of the well deck with my platoon commander who happens to be here. Real to hire. Yeah. Oh, Captain Hyder, this big beard over here. <laughs> and we're standing there, and um, General Dunnigan walks out to the ship in the back of the well deck. He walks by the tanks. They're all broke down. He just passes them. And he, he gets up to us, and he looks at me, Lieutenant Hyder, and he's like, uh, you the AV platoon commander? Lieutenant Hyder says, yes, sir, I am. And uh, he's just like, they talk. How's your vehicles? Good, good, yeah, good. And he says, uh, he looks over at me. You the platoon sergeant gunning? Yes, General, I am. If, if I need you guys, can you get off the boat? I said, hell yeah, General. We're going to drive right over that piece of shit if you need us. I said, <laughs> he's kind of looked at me. He's like, all right. And the, the commander of the troop, Captain Morales, was standing behind me looking at me like, you're dead, Gunny. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so to finish the story up, fast forward. We had that tragic accident on the West Coast. The vehicle's in 2020. And uh, we were down here doing the, um, the water intrusion testing. And... Um, Major General Donovan came down here, taking over as the CG, the division. And um, when he came down here, we just kind of locked eyes. He's like, I know you from somewhere. I didn't want to say, yeah, I was the guy that was, probably ran my mouth when I shouldn't have done it. And my lieutenant was like, flipped out on me. He said, yeah, that's right, I remember you. And um, after that, he just kind of hit it off and had some meetings. But uh, I was telling my mom in this today, sir. What changed the relationship between you and I was when you called me when my dad had passed away. Anyways, I'm a lucky man. I've got a lot of friends. I got a lot of brothers and a lot of warriors that I call brothers. And um, sir, I know you're a two-star general, but I look at you the same way as a brother. Like I said, I've already heard enough about me. Uh, Major Davis. You spoke really eloquently about me, sir. I think it's a bunch of lies. This man talking about some of the days we had in Afghanistan and one particular day which shaped the rest of my time in the Marine Corps, how I looked at training Marines and what example I thought I needed to set. <clears throat> he saved my life that day. I didn't sound scared. I was fucking scared. I was scared I was gonna make a wrong decision and get a Marine killed. Just got lucky. I got lucky that he was had enough balls to shoot toes over my head. We were pinned down. I can't repay you, sir. My kids are here because of you. Sorry. Another story. Where's Solomon Reed at? Tell that story today, Dave. He was an outstanding. All right. 
few shout outs some uh, Hall of Valor with us today and I think this is important you know because Marines don't talk about what they do on the battlefield they don't we just don't do it other Marines talk about what they did for them Major Davis got up here and said like what I did on the battlefield I just said what he did General Dunham got a silver star in the Gulf War he was fighting tanks with handheld rockets with a guy named Sergeant Major Brian Zickafoos. Sergeant Major Kraus. Trapped him over there in Sagan when he was battling with 3-7. Also a Bronze Star with Valor recipient. Sergeant Major Watts. Another 3-7 Marine. Awarded a Medal of Valor. I got buddies back there everywhere. Gus Arona. Stand up. Stand up, Arona. <laughs> Stand up, Pachola. Stand up, Vogel. All these guys. I saw these guys on the battlefield. All of them. Blanketed with valor. It doesn't take away from anybody else, but like I've rubbed shoulders at the worst times and the worst places with these guys. It's an honor to have y'all as my brothers. Good. Thanks. <laughs> I can't name enough of the officers that I know that. Everybody's always talking about, well, enlisted guys don't like officers, and you're always going to clown officers because they come in and they're young officers, young officers, and they got to learn, learning the hard way, but I enjoy doing that. I enjoy teaching. Um, you can teach somebody something, I mean, that's good. But a lot of the officers I had a privilege to serve with, I, was, I had good ones. I speak highly about them. A guy like Captain Billy Knapp, where he talked about Major Davis. A guy named Major Bianca. A guy named Major Miller. Captain Heiner, retired out now. Captain Shane Reardon. Colonel Berenson. Colonel Howe. Some of the Marines I got to serve with side by side. Officers. Just great leaders. Leadership's transparent, you can tell they care. Um, you'll never know what it feels like. When you get to serve a lot of capacity with people who just care about what they're doing. They're not just here, they understand that whatever you You put what you want and your needs aside and it's about service to the uniform. And when it starts changing and you, you don't agree with the changes anymore, that's time for you to go. And it's, it's time for me to go now. I got all you young warriors now to take the fight. Um, Colonel Neener, I wish Lieutenant Lara would be here because there's probably a lot, about 50% of these dudes she probably needs to talk to you. But um, just tell her a warm felt thank you for me. Colonel Neener, where you at? Um, I was really going to give her a good shout out. Um, I'm not done, almost done. Uh, Crystal. I have slipped the bonds of her.